Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about uh, what is JDK, JRE and JVM, difference between that. So, let's start with JVM. Now, JVM is a virtual machine that physically does not exist. So, now the JVM is res responsible to execute the program line by line. The JVM is res responsible to execute the programs, Java programs. JVM provides the run uh, runtime environment in which the byte code is executed and converted to uh, machine specific code. Java JVM is platform dependent but uh, java is platform independent because the compiled code is uh, compiled uh, when compiled a java program uh, it creates a dot class file uh, which has the byte code in it so byte code is platform independent so basically what happens here that uh, the function of jvm is to execute the program line by line and to uh, uh, the compile code uh, which uh, is compiled using the compile present in JDK this byte code is converted into machine specific code using this JVM Java virtual machine and the main thing that why JVM is platform dependent is because uh, each OS has different JVM so for Mac we have different JVM, for Windows we have different JVM and for Linux we will have different JVM. So JVM is platform independent while uh, Java is sorry JVM is platform dependent while Java is platform independent. The next is JRE. Uh, JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. So what basically JRE does that it provides the environment to run the Java program. It is the implementation of JVM. As we have discussed, uh, JVM is responsible to execute the code line by line. So JRE is implementation of JV. JRE consists of sets of libraries, set of libraries and other files. You can see here, we have a different set of libraries and other files that JVM uses while runtime. So to run the Java code, uh, JVM uses these files. And the next point is it provides runtime so you can just run the program, not develop the program if you have only JRE installed in your machine. So this point says that if you have only JRE installed in your machine, you can just run the program, not develop the program. So if you just want uh, to run the Java programs, you need uh, the compiled uh, sorry class files and jre installed in your machine so you can run the java program so here you can see that jre consists of jvm and the set of java libraries and the other files so to run the java program you need a jre installed in your machine here uh, the rt.jar is the runtime jars uh, that contains all the classes of core java api then comes the jdk uh, the jdk is java development kit it is a whole package uh, that we can use to develop and run the java program so jdk consists of two things development tools using which you can write the java program and second one is runtime environment to run this program you need a runtime environment so we have jre so jdk consists of jre and jre consists of jvm jdk consists of resources like compiler uh, the java code is compiled using compiler and converted to bytecode debugger interpreter and different tools 
so debugger uh, shows you the value of uh, variable at a given line uh, to understand the program um, and find the errors in that <coughs> now let's see uh, the java development kit for the whole the jdk consists of gre so this is the gre and the gre consists of jvm that's of library the rt.jar which consists of the classes of core java api and the other files so besides that uh, jdk consists java development tools like java the compiler the debugger the interpreter and different tools so basically the jre consists j uh, sorry jdk consists jre and jvm and the jvm consists jre consists the jvm so this is the whole structure of jdk after understanding the jdk jre and jvm let's see how a java program runs so first you need to write a java code in any of the id you prefer then we compile the uh, java code using the compiler present in the jdk and this java code is converted into byte code now this byte code is platform independent that is the reason why java is platform independent now uh, to execute uh, we can say to run this byte code jre is responsible so jre has the sets of library that jvm uses at runtime to execute the program line by line and give us the output now you can see here that uh, different os has different jvm so jvm is platform dependent and whereas the java program or sorry we can say java is platform independent i hope that you have understand the jdk jre and jvm and the importance of this three to run a java code run and develop a java code in next video uh, we will set up the java environment in your machine and write your first uh, write first java program